What's up, everybody? It's Dave for Napier, and welcome to my team preview of Week 2 versus the Washington Wizards. Um, so I'm just going to be showing off my team that I'm going to be bringing. Uh, first we have... Um, I'm not sure why the sprites aren't showing up, but we have Weavile first. Um, this is his... Okay. This is right here. I'll pull up his team. There, there it is. So that's the team right there. Tornado C, Slow King, Mega Scizor, Tangrowth, Jolteon, Snorlax, Gudra, Crocodile, Aerodactyl, Hitmonchan, and Togedic. So, you got a pretty good matchup versus me, actually, but um, I feel like I ha it's better than Maddie's matchup. Like, I'm in a better shape. So, um, obviously, I want to start with Weavile first because, um, okay, that's not what I wanted to click. Um, it's very good versus, like, Tornadus T, Slowking, Gudra, Crocodile, Aerodactyl, Togetic, um, and Knockoff in general, which is good. The only problem is Hitmonchan and Mega Scizor. That's the only Pokemon that really give it a problem. And, um,. I do have, obviously, the rest of my team. Um, then I have Keldeo, and this time I actually have the nicknames of the Habs players. Then I have Keldeo, um, and Weavile is just the standard set. There's not that much to go over. Pursuit just first, it's looking. And then we have um, Keldeo Resolute here. It's I ran Koba Berry. Because I basically team built with Maddie Brolic and Toga for, and basically Koba Berry base it's what it does is that a super effective flying type attack just won't be super effective. So that's gonna be helpful versus Aerodactyl. If you want to have like Aerial Ace on Mega Scizor, um, I'm not sure why. I'm pretty sure Superpower would be better in most scenarios, but eh, whatever. And then Tornado C. Basically, I'll be able to live. I can Icy Wind them. I can Icy Wind Tornadoes T, so I'll be faster the next turn and basically be able to kill with like Hydro Pump or Scald or something. Um, as well as, you know, Hurricane having a good chance to miss, which I like. <laughs> and then Hydro Pump basically just kills Aerodactyl. Um, and then it's also, this is a decent switch into Mega Scizor. Obviously, I'm faster than it no matter what. Um, and unless it has like agility, I don't even know if it learns agility. But, um, yeah, I always have a chance to burn with Skull. Skull does a lot of damage. And then I have PK Suban, the Mega Charizard X, um, with Dragon Dance, Flare Blitz, Roost, Dragon Claw. Um, it does, like, a lot of to his teeth. Okay, that's not what I want to click at all. That's, that's definitely what I want to click. Um, if you look at his team, it does do damage. Obviously, it kills Mega Scizor. Tangrowth, which is fat and annoying. Um, I think the only problem to my team is actually just Snorlax. I think that's the only real threat to my team. Um, that and Scarf Crocodile and Mega Scizor. I just have to play smart around Mega Scizor, which is, you know, not gonna be easy because I'm not smart. But, um, it can just do a lot of damage. Gudra, it takes a lot. Jolteon really can't touch me that much after I Mega Evolve. Obviously, I can't switch into the thing until I Mega Evolve, but, um... Yeah, basically, it does a lot. Slowking also can stop me. Crocodile can stop me, but... After I, like, weaken his team, after Dragon Dance, this thing can kill everything. And versus Scizor, Mega Scizor, it can really, like... If I can do it the right way and not have rocks up when I switch in, I can all Mega Scizor. Um... I can obviously roost, and he'll most likely be inclined to switch out if he wants to stay in and continue superpowering. Um, eventually, I'm gonna I'm gonna instantly kill it and be safe instead of going for Dragon Dance because I don't want him to sort stance up and be able to do something. Um, and then this is where I started getting interesting with my sets and more creative. Um, this is Lars Eller right here, blah, 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 blah. the Nido King, and so my EVs are a little bit different. I have 188 attack investment. Now what this allows me to do that if I get any prior damage to Gudra, like around 15% damage to Gudra, Ice Punch will be able to kill. 68 EVs allowed me to outspeed Mega Scizor, 
um, just in case. So it's forced to go for bolt punch, or if he thinks he's faster, he can go for knockoff, which I'm pretty sure would do more. Um, and, um, yeah, it's definitely faster than a crocodile if the crocodile has no speed investment. It's faster than four speed crocodile. And, um, I don't, I don't need special defense, so I lowered that. And then, max special attack plus, I'm playing on level 50, by the way, which is why they look so wimpy. Um, Sludge Wave, Oko's, Tangrowth, unless, I don't even think a Salt Vest would live. Megahorn does so much to Slow King. I think it kills Slow King, like, flat out with my attack investment. If not, comes really close, to the point where Stealth Rocks would help me kill it, I think. I don't know, I can calculate, but... Basically, Slow King with any fire damage dies. Um, Tornado T obviously can't really do that much to me. Like, in, in return, versus Ice Punch. I'm pretty sure Ice Punch would almost knock it out. Um, unless he has an HP investment. And, um... Do I even need Earth Power? Like, why do we even have Earth Power? <laughs> like, I guess for Scizor. I might just run... Should I run Flamethrower? I don't could have seen. I might just change that to Flamethrower. I don't see what's stopping me from changing it to flamethrower. I actually don't think anything is. I mean... Crocodile? Well, crocodile, I have Ice Punch and Megalorm. I might just want to put that out of flamethrower. Um... That's just another answer to Mega Scizor. I could, but... I don't know, I think I'd want to stick with Earth Power, just because... I mean, it doesn't do anything besides hit Jolteon. I'm pretty sure Jolteon's not a threat, it's not gonna stay in anyway. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna change that to... Flame Thrower. Yeah, I think that was good. If I regret that, then I'm gonna cry. And then, so... Finally we have, or not finally, but we have Andre Markov, the Mandibuzz, with Roost, Foul Play, Toxic, and Knock Off. Um, basically because these two are just my core right here, because he doesn't have any Ice types. Um, I mean, Jolteon could be a threat, but I feel like I have Pokemon that can take care of Jolteon. I don't think he'll bring Jolteon in general. I mean, if he does, I'll regret it, but I don't think Jolteon is going to be that much of a threat to me. Um, these are just walls for me. This is the Defog Stealth Rocker, and this is more of... Foul play, toxic knockoff, basically utility in case stupid stuff happens. Um, and I feel like I can win this game if I'm not stupid. Um, unfortunately, I am stupid, so we'll see how we go. Alright, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the actual battle.